Hey everybody, I'm Stefan Tremolero and I'm going to give a much more technical oriented talk about an uh, algorithm I did just for fun a few months ago. It's uh, called a genetic algorithm. I did it for a bot strategy, which means um, I made a proof of concept game and the idea was that I had um, a one-on-one -on -one player game and um, bots would fight against each other with, uh, or automatically, in an automated sense, in order to determine a winner. Um, a genetic algorithm on a whole is a search process. Um, it's a search algorithm in which you iterate multiple times over um, the same scenario to arrive at um, further understanding with each iteration. Um, why it's called genetic algorithm is it mimics the process of natural selection. For example, each um, you can draw a parallel between each uh, programming term and uh, um, the science term. For example, each iteration is a generation. Um, each uh, node in the tree is called an individual. Um, and the way it works is we use something called a heuristic function to measure the fitness or how good an individual is in a given generation. Um, I drew a little example. Um, let's just say we have five individuals in a generation, just like um, we call this the parents. Um, we can see that the yellow, the yellow and blue nodes were the best ones. So what I want to do is I want to say, OK, so these parents are the best. So I want these ones to uh, reproduce or continue into the next generation. And you can see the yellow and blue are mimicked further. And then um, let's say that the yellow ones are better than the blue ones. And we still introduce a new guy here. And you can you know, iterate this to as far as n or as far as you want. Um, so the idea is that you run this until you reach a condition such that you're happy with the bots you got. Um, the terminating condition I use is just a fixed number of generations. I just went and looked at the output as I went and saw, OK, it looks like I have a good strategy now. Um, you can configure this however you'd like. You can say, I want you know, 100 generations, which is something I used, or I want 50 children per generation, or 100, or 1,000. And you can choose how many winners or ones you want to carry over and reproduce into the next generation. So basically, the idea is that you pick up um, the best uh, parents in a generation and have them reproduce. Um, I chose to use asexual reproduction, or basically just um, uh, taking a parent and changing it slightly in order to introduce noise into the system and create um, genetic variation. Um, yeah, the ways I did it were I did something called a clone, which is uh, just I repeat the parent because maybe I got lucky, randomly picked a good one the first time. And um, a child is just a parent with little noise. Or uh, I have another child that's just um, I keep all the traits except the one and just completely randomize it. Um, the game was, as I said before, round v1. I round r ran a round robin tournament. And uh, basically, whoever got the most wins, or the metric was wins, and I picked the top 10 to continue on to the next generation. Um, the game was as follows. It was like an empire management game. The idea is that um, on distinct time intervals, you're going to collect resources. Maybe, I'm sure many of you have heard of this archetype of game before. And um, what the bot does is it chooses whether to invest in military, to take military action, or to invest in like infrastructure, which increase the amount of money they get um, on each distinct time step. Um, so these are the traits of the bot. And um, the, the, I guess the traits, the genetics, however, whatever you would like to call them. Um, it's more specific, but no time. Um, when you attack, how many times you attack, these are dictated by um, the bot's decision making and uh, the rules of the game. Um, the bot will have a um, time before attack um, to just build units and to invest in military. And um, you can have different levels of economic investment. The idea was to create a game in which um, multiple strategies would be um, rather viable. So the bots had different ways to try to maximize um, their strengths. So I said, identify strong strategies as the goal of this um, the genetic algorithm to begin with. And ideally, I wanted to build, as a um, commonly used term, metagame, in which multiple strategies were viable and could beat each other like a rock, paper, scissors, natural equilibrium um, scenario. Um, the results I found were that 
I would converge surprisingly quickly. Um, Bangame was maybe too simple of a model. And using 50 children, after about 10 to 13 rounds, I would have a strategy which I saw that was comparable with a uh, human level thinking, what would you implement? Um, and the other problems with this were that um, a single family would become uh, very dominant. The first winner would reproduce, and those children would also be good because they're just slightly different than the parents they reproduce. So you'd get one dominant strategy, and uh, I had several ways to attack this problem, um, which were some ambiguity. These were the winners. I can explain those afterwards if anyone would like to come talk to me. Um, I'd be happy and to go on and on about this. Um, I said here are some of the things you can do, some of the improvements you can make um, to try to create a better scenario. And uh, that's it. Again, if you have any questions, please come talk to me at the end. I'm happy to go on and on about it. Thanks so much for listening.